This is Wadden Bay, ladies and gentlemen. Wadden Bay was established in the 1800s, the late 1800s in the fur trade. It was used as a connection between Lac-Lerange and also uh, the Hudson Bay Company who was established in Lerange area and the Cree communities surrounding this area. It's not about the destination, but rather the journey that gets you there. Anyone that attends the land-based learning expedition to Stanley Mission can vouch for that. Traveling the northern waters with elders Irvin Roberts and Isabel, Isabel Hardler is an unforgettable life experience. Mostly because it gives the mind a chance to decolonize and imagine what life on these lands once looked like, how our ancestors once lived. Before colonization, before deforestation, before technology, before residential schools, when we could live off the land and respected it. The journey out to Stanley Mission has become an annual affair, uniting our communities and learning from one another. Our traditions are so different, and it is inspiring to see how well Indigenous languages have been preserved in Northern communities. The trip is about making new friends, challenging personal strengths and weaknesses, reflecting on our ancestors, connecting with the land, and so much more. Uh, good job last night, everyone. I could see everybody's kind of getting uh, the swing of things. Remember, boys and girls, the only work that's going to get done is the work you're willing to do, okay? Um, when you come up to us and ask us three or four times to do something for you, it kind of confuses us because we have duties as well. So little things that you could do, like go look in these bins and find out what is where, the little things that you can do also help, okay? And as we're walking away or as we have our camp made, it's, 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 it's time to start looking at things like there's garbage. Okay, I need to pick that up, okay? Uh, somebody's doing dishes, should I ask to help? Um, does the garbage need to be bagged up? Like there's little things always, does there need to be water, need to be get? Like there's always little duties that you can help out with that makes life easier on everyone, okay? So this is all about team building. This is all about working together. And uh, you know, let's have an awesome second day. The weather's beautiful. I love this day. It's nice, you know, no bugs. Hi, hi. I am going to say welcome to our, our uh, part of the country. Next year will be our 20th anniversary of um, this cultural exchange. We started off at Kawasas. Each and every trip I've been on, there has been one or two students that really need that extra help, that extra support. Um, one, because I've never been this far north. They've never been through this. It, it is kind of grueling. It, it is. Um, I'm not going to say that I, I know it all, but um, it is frustrating, caring, heavy stuff. And I am so happy to, to that you're able to join us in this excursion. <laughs> Our um, students seem to be falling, falling away from, from uh, joining us in our, our culture here. Uh, we had people have a really hard time recruiting, but it, do, it doesn't help when there's so much negativity in the community towards uh, retaining and uh, revitalizing our culture and our languages. But um, uh, Rena here is picking up on the Cree and she will ask me a lot of things. And if you want to hear more Cree or pick up the very basic Cree, just ask me. I know them. That's it. Oh. Life up north is much different than on our southern reserves. On the first day, we were greeted by billions of sand flies. It was hard to breathe, talk, or even move without inhaling them. Nonetheless, we all had the opportunity to learn about team building, reflecting on the past, life in camp, but also learning to respect and understand the unique ecosystems that shape our realities. So then we downsized it to a scavenger hunt. So we've got 11 questions. And um, so we're going to demonstrate how, just a second, I'm going to, we'll demonstrate on how you uh, get the prizes today. 
So, so for example, if one of the questions was <clears throat> identify that tree, Riel. Jack pine. So then, <laughs> good job. But you're going to get bigger treats than just that, okay? okay. So, uh, Isabel, got the questions? Would you like the scientific name, green name, and? And so after each, you don't have to answer them in order. You can answer them and take all afternoon to answer and to find all the things on this list. And when you come back, after you have some of these answers, after each question, you could get treats. Okay, a little baby of treats, because we all brought treats. And the other thing is, um, we're going to put you not in your comfort zone groups, but Riel and, and teacher Riel and Cindy are going to put you guys kind of, so you meet, meet new kids and new groups, okay? Is it about, I don't know. My turn? Yeah. Another thing. Oh. <laughs> you, uh, yeah. you guys, everybody, there is a section in here where you do have to take canoes. Okay, so you do have to make sure again your life jackets are a must. Okay, so um, the reason why we did that so everybody stays active and you're not all running around here just on this specific section. So there is aspects where you will have to canoe. No, not that way. This way. Okay. Um, there are a couple, there is a couple of questions on here. Well, there is one question on here where you will have to ask an individual on how to do something. Too personal. So. And he'll be at the camp with us. And he'll be at the camp with us. So, and you will have to demonstrate that. Got it. Okay. So, you have little baggies. Some of the things you collect will have to come in your little baggies in order for you to get your treat. Okay. You can't say, oh, I found them over there. Okay? So you have to bring back a sample of what you're asked to bring back. Yes. Um, everybody will be mixed up, including the adults. Okay? Another question. It's an indigenous protocol. When you take something from there, you got to put something back. Are we going to put something back? Oh, like a, the tobacco. Mm -hmm. This is not medicine you're picking, okay. so no. All right, just checking, just checking how um, in depth we are here. The way that I learn things, when you pick medicine, you do have to pay for it. But in this case, this is not medicine you're picking, so. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be two groups. There's going to be first your canoe group, and then there's going to be we're going to partner you up in two canoes. Yeah. Okay, because that's one of the rules safety. as well. You have to be out there safety wise with two people at least. So you'll get a partner and then a canoe partner. Okay. Oh, and also we're working on building belonging. So I don't care who your partner is. If you have to, you know, don't be rude. You know, body language, faces. I don't want to see none of that. You accept your partner. And you learn to get along with all people because when you guys get into the professional world, you start getting into the university, you start getting into the, you know, into yeah. workforce, you got to start learning to get along with anybody, okay? Yeah. So that's very important. Develop those skills while you get opportunities and have fun with it, okay? Remember, we don't just come out here because it's a great time to get out here. We come out here because there's a purpose and because we come out here with intent and to get back to the land as indigenous people. Thank you very much. Yeah. All right. Very well. Okay. Got anything to add? <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's great. Yeah. Owls. Okay. Okay. And, and you know, lastly, um, this is a classroom and this is real time. And so, you know, I was talking with Isabel about this and uh, she was talking to her principal and land-based learning is, uh, this is it. You know, and so you'll see the questions that we put together are questions that we're asking you to, you know, they're science questions, they're, they're stuff from here. So, you know, we do want you to learn about the environment that we're in, where we're in. Um, it, it, those are important things. So this is your outdoor classroom during class time. Okay, so it's, uh, this is a great learning thing. Besides learning about the abundance of flies, we had the opportunity to get to know some of the local flora and fauna, which is hair, jack pine, different mosses. We even saw geese migrating through the Northwest Territories to breed. Pretty Jean was a test of our personal and mental strength. At times, it was really difficult because there were so many flies. 
The baggage was heavy and we aren't used to working like that. On the other hand, it was so rewarding and a great feeling of accomplishment once we started to paddle again. We learned that we are capable of anything if we just put our mind to it. One last trip. One more trip. What? I just came back from one more trip. Okay, this is the very last trip, I promise. I'm carrying more, it's not a big deal. Paddling through the waters was a lot of fun, but also a challenge. We learned paddling techniques for different water conditions and how to steer the canoe to avoid zigzagging. Ladies and gentlemen, your live was set to hook and we got a tip. It happens. Lifelong learning experience. We're not just developing minds, we're developing roots to prepare wings. I think that's what they say in Kakawish now, anyways. <laughs> oh, anyway, Sydney, it's really good to really get together with you out here. You know, I love it. The thing to do is if the waves are coming at you this way, you do not put your canoe like this. Chances are the wave's going to hit you like this, and then you're both, both going to sway. The next wave is going to go right into your boat. You swamp. Okay. And then you swamp in the middle of the lake. And if you see anybody else, can for God's sake, no, no, paddle away. We had a couple that tip. Everybody just kind of watch. It's not a... Um, Oh, what's the word I'm looking for? It's not a spectator sport. If you see somebody swamp, tip, go back and help them. Don't just say, ah, uh, that person will go back. Okay? You need to learn how to do that, too. It's very important that you do that because of hypothermia, water is really cold. The more canoes we have helping, if somebody swamps, the better off and the faster we'll get them out of the water. And those are my instructions as I drive around in the little tour. switch up? I'll do it together, it'll sound way cooler. Okay, ladies, one, two, three. Nice. Okay, boys. Oh my god. Okay, boys, one more time, your best warrior cries. Okay, one, two, three. Woo, 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 woo. Life in camp was about making friends, fishing, cooking, disconnecting from technology, and just taking the time to enjoy the land and each other. This is Set the Hook with my little boys. <laughs> now we're going to put this through the eye, just like that. Okay. Once we have it on, we twist it back up. Now we hold it like this, just like that, and then you twist. My lucky number is eight. What's your lucky number? Three, so he goes three, so we'll go three like he does. One, two, three. Okay, now you take it, see that little eye right there? Stick the line back through there, and you pull. Okay, now it'll, it'll lock in place. There you go, now you're ready to go and catch some pickerel. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome out to your set hook today. Uh, we're out here in Stanley Mission, Hunt Lake, 2019 canoe trip where we're doing a building a culture exchange between Stanley Mission, uh, Kakwish Kakwish First Nation, Ochapways First Nation, and we also want to get Kauzis back into the deal because they were the initial the initial uh, band to start this canoe trip some 20 years ago and we're continuing it today and trying to enhance the relation again between the communities. So uh, right now we're cooking fish over the fire. One of our students had caught this uh, a little bit earlier and uh, this is a pickerel and we slow cooked it over the fire for a little while and now we're going to uh, serve it here to the students. Over here Corey is going to be our tester today. Also Frank's Red Hot, thank you for the sponsorship. We're looking forward to the donations you make to next canoe trip. So ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> here's how you do this. So now the skin you know it's perfectly done when the skin comes right off perfect. So you just want to take the skin and expose the meat. There you go. Our journey was an adventure, to say the least. This annual trip has been life-changing for all of the students that came along.
The skills, relationships, and knowledge gained provide a sense of identity and understanding of traditional lifestyles, but also the history of Canada. Okay, I'm gonna just say it once. You get one vote. Everybody that wants to stay, put up your hand now.